All right, so here we have our Mr. Conductor, and we're getting ready to make a mold of him in silicone. Now, a couple of things. First of all, I think I want to put a little bit of clay in each of these holes because I think it's just gonna make it difficult um, when we actually do the casting. So I'm just gonna scooch just a little bit in each of the holes so we won't have to worry about that in the silicone because they're so easy to just drill right in where they need to be. So I'm gonna cover up the holes and then I think with this guy, the mold's gonna go like this. That way I'll get this neck area the way it needs to be. And then I can put a vent over one of the feet. So as I pour the resin in on this side, it'll fill up and then come up the other leg too. And then on the arms, I think I'll just have them be laying flat and just pour from the top. So it'll be going down here, pouring down here, filling out the hands. We'll see, maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah, I think I'll do it this way because it'll be easier to fill up the spot. So I'll pour in through the hand and then it will come up and fill up the fingers. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to make a mold box that we're gonna be pouring the silicone in. And so I took this guy and measured about seven and a half inches. And what I'm gonna do now is cut just the top layer of this so it can fold and make a box. I'll show you what I mean. Let's see, I wanna have at least about three quarters of an inch on each side of him. So I just cut the one paper, this is just paper board with a foam core, and then go like that. And then I'll decide how much I want to go this way, and then do another cut, and then bend again, and then one across the back. So it'll make a box for us that I will need to glue a bottom to. So here's what we've got. Basically a little casket for the guy. So it is just a sheet of paperboard that has these folds in it. So that's where we're headed with it. Now first we need to make a bed of clay for him to lay in so we can just make a mold of one half of him first. So I'm putting him down on some clay, pressing him in place so he'll stay still, and then pretty much I want to just go up halfway on his body and make a clay bed. So we're covering up the bottom half of the figure. All right, so we just have him on this bed of clay and now it's time to kind of refine it a little bit better. You wanna make sure you've got nice straight lines here where it butts up against the clay figure. And just make everything nice and neat. And then you also wanna go through and smooth this as well. Just with your fingers. I've also seen people use a wood stick like this and then go back and smooth it. So once you get everything smooth and you have a nice line around here, then I'll show you how we put in some beads for a mold key. You can see here is how he's coming along and it kind of takes a while, but it's important when you're doing a mold. So I just kind of spread this out first with my tool and then with my fingers. And just the more smooth you get it, the easier it's gonna be for your mold to lock into itself so it's not all bumpy all over the place. And then in through here, I need to go in and kinda of use my tool and get this extra clay off. So I'll keep going until it's all cleaned up and then I'll show you how to make the keys. All right, so now I just take some glass or metal beads, marbles if you have them would be great, and I push them halfway in to the clay. And this will just help it so the mold, the two mold pieces will be able to key up to each other. So they'll be perfectly in the right place. 
So I'll just keep doing this and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, all keyed. And now I'm gonna be putting on the box. Putting it in place here and then securing it with tape. All right, so I got him in the box and now what I need to do is fill in these places with clay so it'll be a nice tight seam all around him. But before I do that, I'm gonna go around the edges of this box with hot glue. So that will be sealed well there too. So the box is sealed all the way around so the silicone won't leak out. Now I just need to fill in the extra clay around the edges. All right, here he is. I just put little worms all around the edges and I ran out of clay so I used some wax down at the bottom there so that's why that looks funny. But now he's ready to have the silicone poured over him. And first I'm gonna spray him with a mold release. All right, I ran this through a calculator online and it said that we need about 20 ounces. We'll see if it's right. All right, that ended up being 22 ounces. So we'll have a little bit extra, but we've got space. So let's see, let's turn it into grams now. So we'll need to add about 64 more of this other kind. Shake well before using. I'm using Mold Max 14 NB that I got from smoothon.com. Okay, so to add 64, I want this to end up saying 704. Now I've measured these two out and now I need to mix it together. And the only thing I don't really like about this kind of mold mixture is that the color is just white. It's kind of nice when um, one of them is a different color. So you can tell that it's all been mixed in well. That does not smell good. I'm gonna turn my fan on and keep mixing. I always remember to have adequate ventilation. Trying to not get bubbles in here while still making sure it's all the way mixed. And this has like about a 30 minute working time, so really you can keep mixing for a while if you want. Alright, so I'm going to spray it with my mold release. And then we're going to do a high pour to help get rid of the bubbles. And we can see that the fan is having an effect on this. <laughs> So we ended up having plenty. So it seems like that calculator online, it was just at moldmax.com. And it seemed to be pretty accurate, so that's good. You just measure your box, and then measure your figurine. And then it does the math for you. Now we wait at least four hours. And it's also good to kind of tap the box a bit, help the bubbles come out. 